On Wednesday, 4th October, on the 40th anniversary of his iconic fast food outlet, Dr. Freezer's, the friends and family of Conrad Darius James congregated at the Minor Basilica in Castries to say their final farewell for a man of many parts. His son, Mark James, says he is eternally grateful for his father's timeless life lessons, which will continue to be his guide. Dad lived a life that was defined by love, integrity, and dedication. He was a man of principles who taught me the importance of family, hard work, and compassion. His wisdom is a guide and light in my life, and his influence will continue to shape me every day. One of the things that stood out most about my dad was his love for his family. Uh, his dedication and ability to care for his parents and aunts, men and auntie, always stood out. I watched him take care of grandpa, granny, nan, and auntie as they grew older. Dad would visit their home at La Talk every single day of the week, Monday to Sunday. The James family was able to grow their business, Dr. Freezers, in the face of competition from international fast food franchises, carving a niche with its distinct offerings. Calix George Jr. eulogized Conrad James on behalf of his father, Sir Calix George. He said devotion and dependability were two distinguishing qualities attributed to the success of Dr. Freezers. Connie became a thriving, successful businessman. Yet... The old adage that behind every successful man is a strong woman was clearly evident because Antonia provided the four-wheel drive power to enable Connie to navigate the slippery slopes and roads of the St. Lucia business world. At a time when St. Lucian business firms seem to prefer associations with foreign firms, such as Minville and Chastney and Peter and Company with the Goddards of Barbados, and JQ Charles with the Masseys of Trinidad and Tobago, and Dubele and Co. with CPJ of Jamaica, it is heartening to know that Connie and Antonia's legacy is in the capable hands of his children, Darren, Nichette, and Zoe, who have in fact have extended the number of outlets. The workers of Dr. Freezer's speak of a man who led by example in his commitment to hard work and consistency. Mr. James was a very loving and generous man. Nothing was ever too much to give or to help out his staff. He was a great leader and an inspiration to us all. Solid memories of him keep rushing in every time someone mentions his name. He left us a part of him that neither time nor even his death can ever take away. He lived a good life, one that we will forever cherish and continue to remember. The plan was not to be here forever, but to create something that will. And he did just that. And that's Dr. Freezer's. According to his lifelong friend, Sir Calix George, delivered through his son, George Jr., Conrad James had a wide range of interests, from music, a former member of the Quavers Band, politics, a staunch supporter of the St. Lucia Labour Party, and a socialite with friends from a range of backgrounds. But family came first. Above all else, Connie was a quintessential family man whose perpetual love for his beloved Antonia started during his secondary school days. With both coming from closely knit families, it was inevitable that their family had patterned on that of their parents. Connie and Antonia gave birth to a model family where love flowed like Chekapesh honey. They were extremely strong, unbreakable, paternal, maternal, brotherly, and sisterly bonds among and between the members of the family. With the advent of grandchildren, even stronger, immutable bonds were developed between Connie and Antonia and the grandchildren. Connie will certainly be missed, not only by his immediate family of Antonia, Mark, Darren, Nichette, Zoe, his grandchildren and extended family, but also by his close friends and acquaintances, not only in Castries, but throughout the length and breadth of St. Lucia and its diaspora. 
Conrad James passed at his Bonte residence on Saturday, 26 September, at the age of 79 years. He will be remembered by his friends and family for his generosity, love of life, and his unwavering devotion to family and business. He is survived by his wife, Antonia James, their four children, and six grandchildren. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.